even know what a pregnant pause is? Where did you get that term? Pregnancy. Now listen, WWE has announced the on-sale date for WrestleMania 37 tickets, okay? So, for those of you unaware, first off, let me make abundantly clear for you dumb nerds out there that apparently posted this on the internet. Not for one second did I ever say that WWE was moving back to a one-day WrestleMania. What? I was, yeah, that's what I heard yesterday. <laughs> These people texting me, did you report that WrestleMania is one day this year? I said, no. I said, we were given all sorts of r random speculation about why, a per why they would possibly announce a ticket sale date and then change it. Now, what we knew was the plan was to put 25,000 tickets on sale for both days, okay? And then they, they, they took tickets off the market. So I was like, well, why? Well, maybe they're going to add more seats. Maybe they're going to take away seats. I mean, we rattled off a million possible reasons why somebody would possibly put tickets on sale and then take the tickets off the market. You know what I said? I said, well, we're going to find out pretty soon. Well, they announced today that the ticket sale date is now Friday and there will be 25,000 tickets on sale each night. <laughs> so why did you not put tickets on sale? Well, they hey. also, they haven't announced what's going to be on what night. <laughs> so, I mean, that's out the window. That was my well. first, that was my number one speculation. Well, maybe they're going to tell you the main event of each night. So if you can only afford one night, you'll know what night to buy tickets for. Nope, not even that. They just announced there's 25,000 tickets on sale. Well, that's where there always was. So, no, I have absolutely no idea why they switched the ticket sale date. It's a mystery. It's got to be a lobbying effort. That had to be something like that. For what? Otherwise, Nothing has to, changed. To try to look, because maybe somebody moved in silence and somebody tried to hit up somebody at the governor's mansion or something like that to try to expand out to more seats. Because otherwise, unless it was an issue with whoever is handling the ticketing for them, no, I have no idea why they decided to, to pull this date back and change nothing about it. Not a clue. You know, I... I had heard from people that were like, you'll know soon. I always love that. There's a mystery, and they say, you'll know soon. And then they say about the booking. And then, like, they make the announcement, and I don't know. Like, there's literally no change from what they were going to do on Tuesday. It's just going to be on Friday instead. These people on the Twitch chat, well, Friday's payday. I mean, that's as good as that, bro, that's as good a guess as any. I, well, I, for I a mean, lot of people, I think midnight was payday. That Joe money. Well, anyway, so, yeah, it's now tickets are on sale Friday, and that's it. Okay, well, cool. By the way, you have a lot more, like, care about what date people, like, may want to go to. All they care about is do people have enough money to buy tickets for at least one of these shows, if not two. I don't think they have any care of the, what the fans want or as far as well, anything they don't playing care. out about Saturdays or Sundays or whatever. They don't care, but but here's the point. Like, remember when they used to do Cyber Cyber Tuesday shows or whatever they called it? Uh, and, yeah. like, the fans got to vote on the matches? Remember that? And then yeah, like Cyber Sunday and whatever? Well, yeah. if, first it was, like, a Cyber Tuesday Okay, and then like it didn't do very well, so they figured, well, maybe it was because it was on Tuesday. So then they moved it to Sunday, the traditional pay per view day. It was going to be Cyber Sunday, and guess what? It also didn't do well. So you know what the problem was? They were asking you to spend fifty dollars on a pay per view or whatever, and not telling you what was on the show. Because I know that people in the in the network era, if you grew up in the network era, like you're used to having no matches for a pay-per-view six days out. But back in the day when you had to pay your hard-earned money for a pay-per-view, like if you didn't tell people what was on the show, people didn't buy the show because they want to know what they're going to get for their money. So it's one thing to say, well, on Peacock, it's $4.99, so we don't have to give you a card. Like who cares? You're paying $4.99. But if you're going to travel to Florida, if you're going to buy tickets in the middle of a pandemic for a show... I mean, yeah, some people would prefer to know, hey, let's say you're a big Sasha Banks fan, which exists, by the way, because I hear from them all the time. Well, <laughs> what night is her match on? Let's say you only have enough to, to buy tickets for one night. Well, if you buy tickets for Saturday and then you later find out her match is on Sunday, it's not like you can exchange your ticket. You're mad. So that's why oh, I yeah. figured it only makes sense to tell people for the matches we know, what what day are those matches are going to be on? That way, when you go to buy your ticket... Well, you can choose. It's not like the old days where you buy your WrestleMania ticket, you get all the matches. That's not how it is now. You only get half. 
You don't want the bad half. I'm not going to disagree with you on that because you should have a plan for this. We should know what both days were or one day was a long time ago, and we should be building to those matches, but we're not. And I, I do wonder if you're going down there for this. I don't want to say does it matter if you're going to one day or the other, but like if you can only afford one day and you're planning on being down there in the middle of all these festivities anyway. I, I Look, it does matter. I would rather, as a consumer, I would rather have that, but I'm not sure to some of the fans if it necessarily matters all that much. Well, Funk Among here, that sounds. I hate to call this guy out, but he's just confused. He goes, well, wait, people buy WrestleMania tickets with no card every year. Yes, Funk Monk. Because it's one day. Because you buy your ticket, and if you're a Sasha fan, you're going to see her match. Because it's one day. But when the show is two days, if you can only afford one day, well, which day is Sasha's match going to be on? Saturday or Sunday? Well, you see, Funk Monk, you don't know. So how do you, how do you know which ticket to buy? Back in a moment, Observer Live. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.